All right, guys, so we're finally getting the good stuff. We're going to start going through every single different develop setting that we have and discussing it in detail. We're going to start with this tools bar, which contains the cropping tool as well as other local adjustments that we can make to our images. So we're going to do those in following image and following video. So let's start with the crop overlay tool. And we can get there by clicking the crop overlay button right here if we're in the develop module. Um, you can also get there from the develop module by clicking on tools and just going to crop. The easiest way, though, probably to get there from any place, regardless of where you are, is just by hitting the hotkey R which will work from the library, the slideshow, the print module, whatever module you're in. So if I'm in the library module and I hit R, it's going to automatically take me to my crop overlay tool. All right, so now that I'm in the crop overlay mode, I'm going to remove this information on the top left by hitting I. I'm going to hit it twice because I want to toggle it completely off. All right, so there's a bunch of different ways that we have to adjust the crops on our image. So let's start with the most basic. The most basic is basically the dragging from the corners or from the left, right, or top and bottom lines that we have to adjust our crop inwards. So if I needed to pull my crop, say, up and towards the right, I'm just going to drag from the bottom left and move it towards the right. I can let go and then use my hand tool to adjust the crop from there just by clicking and dragging my crop area. Now, if I'm happy with that crop, I can just hit Enter. If I'm not happy with it, I can go back into my crop overlay by hitting R, and I can hit Control Z as many times as I want to get back to whatever crop space that I need. Now, if I pull up from one of these top points, from either the top or the bottom, or the left or the right, it's going to actually keep the top and bottom margins, if I click on the left or right, equal. On the, on the bottoms, it's going to keep the left and right margins equal. So it's a nice way of quickly kind of zooming into the center of an image wherever you need to be. All right, now I'm going to undo that to get back to where we were. Now, another tool that I can use to crop is this crop frame tool right here. If I click the crop frame tool, it'll actually let me draw in the, the crop frame that I want wherever I want it, starting with the top left point. So if I start right here, I can click and drag and just make my own crop exactly where I want it and how I want it, and then make any micro adjustments I need from there to kind of just perfect that crop. And if I'm happy with it, I'm just going to hit Enter. I'm going to undo that to get back to my original crop. Now another great feature of the cropping tool is the ability to quickly rotate our images to fix horizon line issues or architectural lines, whatever lines you want to correct in an image. So all I do to get there is just move my cursor anywhere outside of the image in this gray area in our workspace. So once you do, you'll see the little kind of curved arrows. And if you click and drag, it'll allow me to adjust the rotation on my crop to however I want. So if I want to straighten up that line on the grill, I would just keep adjusting until that line is straight, hit enter, and I'm good. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that adjustment and go back into my crop overlay by hitting R. All right, guys, so so far all the cropping adjustments that we've made have been locked to the aspect ratio of the actual image, which is a 4 by 6 image. Now, what if I want to create creative crops, like let's say a super wide or super tall crop of this image? Well, then I need to unlock that, that feature. So I want to unlock it so it no longer maintains the same aspect ratio of the image. I do that just by clicking on this locking icon so that's in its unlocked uh, shape right here. Now when I adjust any edge, I can free transform it however I want. So if I want a tall crop, um, tall vertically, if I want a really horizontal crop, I can adjust it however I like. I can also do the same thing now with the crop frame tool. I can uh, draw in my crop however I want. If I want a super wide crop, um, whatever I want to do, I can have the creative choice of adjusting my crop however I like. In addition, I can also adjust my crop to a custom aspect ratio. Now if you click on this menu right here, It'll give you a list of options. We have original, which is the original uh, aspect ratio of the, of the original image. I also have all these other aspect ratios, which are common printing aspect ratios. So you'll see like a 1 by 1, a square print, or an 8.5 by 11, or an 8 by 10, 4 by 5. These are all cropping ratios that are, are very common printing sizes, where you'll need to actually crop off part of the image. So Lightroom's saying, basically, if you want to make these adjustments and export it, you can make your cropping adjustment in Lightroom and export it ready to go as, say, at a 4x5 or an 8x10, or whatever size you want. Let's say I wanted to enter in a custom aspect ratio for, say, um, maybe it's going to be a super wide image. It's going to be 3 feet tall by 10 feet wide. Well, I just enter in the aspect ratio uh, as 3 feet tall by 10 feet wide. And it, it doesn't matter what measurement. It doesn't matter inches. It doesn't matter. It's just all that matters is you keep the same ratio. So whether it's 3 inches wide by 10 inches, uh, 3 inches tall by 10 inches wide, or 3 feet tall by 10, in, uh, 10 feet tall, or 10 feet wide, sorry, it's all the same. It's all the same aspect ratio. So I just put 3 by 10, and it'll automatically set that aspect ratio and lock it. So I can kind of create that adjustment however I like.
Now to show you guys this next feature, I'm going to go to a different image. I'm going to go to this running image right here. Now if you look really close, this horizon line is actually slightly off. This road that he's running on is a little bit tilted, but it's going to be really difficult to figure out the correct adjustment for that by rotating, just because it's kind of hard to see. Another really great rotational tool that we have is this angle tool, which we can adjust our angle right here on this um, by this using the slider, but that's not really the powerful part. The powerful part is by actually using, the, using this straighten tool right here. By clicking on the tool, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the horizon line on one point. I'm going to drag the tool across to draw in where that line should be. Like basically you're drawing in what the straight line should be on that image. And it's going to automatically adjust the crop so that that now is a perfectly straight horizon line. So I can do that based on any image. Let's say that on this car image, let's say that I want this grill to be completely straight. Well, I'm just going to click this uh, tool again, click on one side of the grill and drag all the way across. And now when I click, uh, when I let go of that, it's going to automatically adjust it so that grill is perfectly straight going across. So it's a great way of adjusting a horizon line when minute changes are, are needed and it's kind of difficult to line up the horizon line perfectly across the, the overlay. All right, so that brings me to the next thing I want to discuss, which is the crop overlays. Basically, the crop overlays is what you see here with these kind of guiding lines that shows you uh, different lines based on artistic compositional rules. So right now we're seeing the rule of thirds, which is dividing each portion of the frame up into thirds horizontally. So we have horizontally going across as well as vertically. Um, if I hit O, it's going to cycle me to the next rule, which is the rule of thirds. If I hit O again, it'll cycle me to diagonals. O again takes me to triangles. Um, and you can also access the different views, the different uh, crop overlay views, by going to the tool menu, by going to the crop guide overlay, and just selecting whatever crop overlay you want. So um, you can choose the exact rule that you want, and it's really useful for being able to kind of adjust your crop based on these compositional rules. So you can kind of make these kind of minor adjustments and keep it looking like a really strong composition. You can also flip the compositional rule by hitting, I believe it was Control Shift O. So if I switch to, let's say, this triangles, and I go up to Tools, hit um, Crop Guide Overlay, actually just Shift O. So if I hit Cycle Grid Overlay Orientation, it's going to just flip the sides. So by hitting Shift O, I can do the same thing. All right, guys, so you guys can set your Crop Guide Overlay to whatever you guys like. I usually leave it on the rule of thirds for myself. The last thing I want to show you guys in the cropping tool is this Constraint to Warp. Now, Constraint to Warp is, is really a cool feature. Basically, if we have, uh, let's say, distortion, and we'll show you guys how to fix distortion later, but let's say we want to correct a little bit now just to show you guys how this works exactly. I'm going to just say that this image has, let's say this image has quite a bit of distortion on it. We want to fix it. It really doesn't have that much distortion, but we're just going to say it does for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm going to adjust my vertical a little bit, and you'll notice that because we fixed distortion now, that we have gray edges because it's contracting the image along these lines uh, to be able to fix that distortion. So we're basically, if we export it with this full-size crop, well, it's going to export with these gray edges around the image. So if I go back to my crop overlay and I hit Constrain to Warp, basically it's going to adjust my crop in so it's not going to show any gray edges around the image. So it's going to adjust basically to show the maximum size of the image without showing any gray from the fixing of the distortion. Alright guys, so that is the cropping tool. The only things we have left is basically this reset, which is just going to take you back to the defaults, uh, and then we have the close, which is going to close it out. You can also close it out by hitting R again, clicking the button, uh, however you guys like. So we're just going to hit R. I'm going to reset my image to get back to where we were. Alright, let's go on to the next tutorial.